What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have yet again another WWE Elite Figure Collection video, and it is the best in the world this time. CM Punk, the straight edge superstar, one of the greats, one of the people that everybody misses in the WWE. But of course, he did sadly walk away due to controversial circumstances. But you know, we're always going to be a fan of CM Punk. But here we have six elites of his. I do not have every elite CM Punk. I am missing so many that I would just love to have in my collection. You know, I would love for my collection to be as large as my John Cena's, my Randy Orton's, my Triple H's. I would love to have a collection that big. And one day I will. I will have a bunch... Uh, if you want to see a huge CM Punk collection, go to Steisenberg Customs on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go check his out. His totally puts mine to shame. There are so many people out there that have great CM Punk collections, and they make me so jealous. But, um, yeah, they, they totally crush my collection. But I do have these assorted CM Punks right here that I cannot wait to go through. Guys, you know how we always do with the collection videos. I will go through all the figures, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, explain the series and all that good jazz. But, um, yeah, very excited to show you these punks. He is not one of, uh, you know, he's not my favorite of all time, but he is most definitely probably in my top ten favorites of all time, and I do love CM Punk. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, guys, starting things off, first we have the ringside exclusive CM Punk, which is a very awesome figure. Came with a lot of great accessories at the time. You know, it had the ECW Championship, an ECW microphone, and a custom rubber T-shirt. You know, it had the skeleton diaphragm with the heart in it. Um, his t-shirt from uh, that time period and it was a really awesome shirt I hate that it wasn't cloth if it would have been cloth probably would have been probably one of the best figures of all time But anyways, this figure is really dope. Of course, this is before he had his infamous chest tattoo I think this represents punk well from um, that time in ECW. Of course, he has his old uh, School trunks right there got punk on the back uh, His infamous stars on the front his red and black kick pads, which are really awesome um, I don't think we ever got any more solid uh, kick pads like this where it's just dual tone like that. The rest of kick pads that Mattel has made have had some sort of graphic on it. So these are really awesome um, that they're blank. And um, it sucks that they're not able to get the Pepsi and Spitfire and Cobra tattoos on his body. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do like this head scan. I like that it's smiling. It does have the lip ring in there and everything, so it's really dope. I think it represents Punk well. Um, I do love this figure, and I was around 10 years old when he debuted in ECW, and I'll never forget that day. Um, I thought that it was a... Uh, I Obviously, being 10 years old, I had no idea what the Indies was. I didn't know what Ring of Honor was, so I had no idea what this guy was about, but he totally proved himself, and he was always one of my favorites from the time he debuted. He was just awesome. Obviously on the mic in the ring, but this figure is awesome and we're moving on to the next one Up next guys, we have a very underrated CM Punk in my opinion, and it is the Elite 11 um, This is obviously the time that he was in the Nexus comes with his uh, CM Punk Nexus t-shirt Which is very very cool. I always loved his logo. If I can get the shirt off right here You will see that he did also come with a Nexus armband, which is really really awesome um, I feel like figures, they used to do so much better with figures in my opinion. I think that Mattel totally uh, used to just kill the accessories. They used to give us cloth shirts all the time. But here's the Nexus armband, his infamous elbow wrap right there. I think this attire is really sick. I'm not the biggest fan of this head scan. Like the hairline's sort of weird. And if you look closely, the hair's brown and the facial hair is black, which is, I don't know about that. Um, the, complete, the chest tattoo is not completed just yet. But these this, these tights are really sick. I know that uh, people make customs out of this attire, but I love the I love the way this attire looked. Um, always one of my favorite attires. I know it's a lot uh, similar to the uh, Chicago tribute attire with the Elite 16, but I think I like this one a little bit better. I don't know why. It's just so dope to me. I love the kick pads as well. They give us large knee pads, which I did not switch out. I think it's the only punk that I have where I did not switch the knee pads. Um, again, this head scan, uh, I, I like the facial expression. It's just like the head, the hairline and everything. Even though it may be accurate, I still am not the biggest fan of it. But this figure is very dope, and I think that it is probably one of the most underrated CM Punks that Mattel has ever made. 
Up next, we have the Elite 20 CM Punk, and if you see this t-shirt, you probably recognize it from MDT Live. This is the custom shirt that I ordered for him to wear on my pick fed. I just really love this shirt. It's like the uh, Super Mario inspired. I really, I think that's so dope. I saw this on Wrestling Superstore, or no, not Wrestling Superstore. What am I saying? ProWrestlingTees.com, and I thought that the yellow with the blue and red in the text looked really, really awesome with this attire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off so you guys can get a better look at the figure. But yeah, one of my favorite uh, figure t-shirts in my collection, um, we have this, uh, I really think that this figure is so dope. It's probably one of my favorite punks that uh, Mattel has made. Uh, I think that the tattoo with these trunks and this head scan, this is not the head scan it came with. I did do a head swap, but I think this is a very awesome head scan. Got the lip ring in there, um, the blue X's on the hands right there. I put the smaller knee pads on there for better articulation, you know, being in the pig fed and stuff. I love these kick pads. I think that uh, one of his best attire, the blue, red, and white, I think just looks really, really dope. Again, I wish that uh, we could get these. Ta I need to get these done by either BEW or decals or something. I really need the tattoos on all my punks so it would complete it. But that is this punk, guys, 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 guys. We're moving on to the next one. Up next, guys, we have the Elite CM Punk build a figure Jim Ross elite and i think this is really awesome i love this attire i think uh this t-shirt with this attire looks really dope um the black red and white all ties together uh, again i did order this uh just i have a bunch of cm punk shirts for my figures um there's one not featured in this video it's like the it's clobbering time from pro wrestling tees.com um this one actually does have the tattoos on there with decals but I feel like BEW could probably do it better, to be honest. You see the wrinkles in the tattoo. Um, this was one of the first decal uh, applications that i ever done, and you can actually tell. Um, not as much on the Cobra, but on this one, it's just really messy. So I need to BEW. Like, everybody needs to hit up BEW. Tell him to watch this video so that he will know that he needs to do all my punk tattoos. Uh, he shouldn't hurt me that bad to do that. But this figure is pretty nice. I did do a head swap, I think, that... Um, this attire is pretty nice. I believe this is his Money in the Bank attire. And it's pretty standard, the uh, red, black, and white, but I think it does look nice. And I do like this head scan with this attire. So, yeah, not much to this figure, but we did get some cool accessories. We got some crowd signs, and we did get the megaphone. But I was not a big fan of that head scan, so that is why I swapped it. But now we are moving on to the next one. Up next, guys, we have one of my favorite CM Punks that Mattel has ever made. I know I've said that twice before in this video, but this one's really dope. We have the All-Stars Elite CM Punk, the one that came with Stone Cold Steve Austin in that two-pack. I wish they would go back to cool sets like that. But here we have the chest hair. We have a head swap. This is not the head scan it came with. I used a old Straight Edge Society Punk Basic and did a head swap. I love the bearded, long-haired punk head scan on this figure. I think it just looks really dope with the chest hair and stuff. Uh, the yellow looks fantastic. Uh, I did switch the knee pads to give them smaller ones. But uh, yeah, this yellow really pops off of this figure. Uh, I added the elbow wrap as well. And I really think that uh, this... I posted this on Instagram uh, like a week or two ago, and yeah, this punk never uh, disappoints me. Every time I look at it on the shelf, it's just really sick. I love posing it around. Just really, really awesome CM Punk. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I want to like write CM Punk off of TV on my pick fed so that I can bring him back with longer hair and a beard. That way, you know, he won't just show up one week. I want him to just come out so I can use a figure like this. Uh, maybe I can use this head scan with a chest tattoo, sort of like if he came back with longer hair to the WWE or something. That would be pretty dope. So if that happens, don't uh, you'll remember where I said that from. But uh, yeah, this punk is so very awesome, and I love it. The neck sort of sits high. People say that this head may sit a little high on the neck, but it doesn't bother me. This punk is dope. And last but not least, guys, I am finishing it off with everybody's favorite CM Punk Elite. It is the Elite 16 that comes with this awesome shirt, the most infamous CM Punk shirt that he ever rocked. I believe it is one of the most high-selling uh, t-shirts in WWE history. And um, I love this shirt because, you know, it even included the cuffs, and it is a very tight shirt like Punk wore it in real life. This is just a really sick shirt, and when it is on the figure, it is very dope as well. Um, the most iconic attire probably of his career, you know, one of the best matches in his career. He wore this attire, got the elbow wrap as well, great head scan. Everything about this figure is amazing. I'm pretty sure this may have, this is probably figure of the year back in the day. And it comes in a great series, Elite 16. But um, I love the packaging back then too. The packaging, I feel like the packaging has definitely fell off. I feel like they brought it back. Um, with the newer elites i am waiting on my elite 56 to get here we're gonna have some giveaways and stuff like that 
Um, that is why I'm putting out this Punk Collection video, because I figured it would be a good uh, filler until those figures get here. But this was a great figure of Punk to end the video with. But yeah, guys, that is every CM Punk Elite in my collection. I do have like one or two basics, but again, this is an Elite figure collection video. We don't want to show those basics off. But yeah, CM Punk, best in the world. Um, you know, one of my top 10 favorites, definitely. I don't know how high he would be, but he is definitely up there, guys. I love CM Punk. I love all of his figures. Again, I would love to expand this collection. And I know I said that Elite 16 is everybody's favorite Punk figure, but I think I'd have to go back and say that is a negative. I think that everybody's favorite Punk figure is the Straight Edge Society ringside exclusive. So I hate that I do not have that figure, but maybe we can expand the collection one day and I can update this video in the future. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what your favorite CM Punk Elite collection or Elite figure is. Maybe I have it. Maybe I don't. Let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.